Okay, good evening, welcome to... Awesome month number 100! 100. 100, hey! We got 100 of them this year. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, today you learned about modular inverses. Yeah. And I thought that would be a fun topic just to do a quick quick movie about tonight. Do you see an eraser anywhere? Hmm. Well, there's one over there. Okay. So, we know what um, uh, an inverse means when you multiply. Yeah. So what is in normal... In normal arithmetic, what does the inverse of 3 mean, the multiplicative inverse? Well, then it's 3 times something would equal 1. 3 times something would equal 1. And that, num and that, that uh, number would be 1 third. Okay, so 1 third is the multi multiplicative inverse. Three and also three is the multiplicative inverse mm -hmm. of a third. Yep. And we're going to keep that same idea and go to modular arithmetic. And so we could we could ask what are the inverses? Let's go mod seven just for fun. Yep. Okay. Zero doesn't have an inverse because zero times anything, anything is, is zero. Is zero. So zero and. <laughs> 1. 1 times what is equal to 1 mod 7? 1 times 1. Times 1. Okay. Now it gets more challenging. 2. Well, 2 times 4 is 8, and that's 1 mod 7. So that's interesting. 2 times 4 equals 1. It's congruent to 1 mod 7. Hmm. So 2 and 4 are multiplicative inverses mod 7. Sorry, I got a little tongue tied there. What about three? Three, well, well, three, you have, you can't get one more than seven, though you can get one more, it would be five. The Ooh, inverse. Interesting. Three times five is? Three times five is fifteen. Which is one mod seven. Three times five is converted to one mod. Seven. Now what about four? What's the multiplicative inverse of four? It would be two, since you just flip the digits over. It would be two. What about five? Five would be three. What about six? Six. Ooh. Mm. What? You have to multiply six by something to get one more than a multiple of seven. Yeah. Hmm. Well, six times six times six is thirty-six. Aha! Uh -huh. Six is its own multiplicative inverse. I guess we'd have to match that. Oh, yeah. high five! You know why? You know why that matches? It's a very good thing to notice. I don't think I know why they match. Because six equals minus one. Mod 7. And minus 1 times minus 1 equals is 1. 1. So that means 6 times 6 equals? So it would be 1 mod 7. Mod 7. The negative numbers are pretty interesting in modular yeah. arithmetic. But that was I'm really proud of you for noticing that. I 5. 2 and 4, 2 and 4, 3 and 5, 3 and 5, 6 and 6, 1 and 1. Those match somehow, and they match because 6 is minus 1. Yeah. Cool. All right, good job. Inverses in modular arithmetic.